Orson. Uh, I know Austin Doris is, is, seems to have come on. But talk a little bit about uh, Matthew Orson as a freshman. Talk about who you've seen surface a little bit. Yeah. Uh, start with Austin Doris. Uh, he really worked hard, and I've mentioned this. He really worked hard this summer and really improved his speed. And uh, so he's playing a lot better that way. And, and he'll be a guy that, that plays for us. And uh, Peyton Hendershot, I was really glad to see in this last scrimmage where he really uh, blocked very well. Great leverage, had his hands were tight inside and finished blocks and things like that. And that was a step I thought he needed to take, and he did that. And uh, Matt Bjorson, the freshman, he's not playing like a freshman. Uh, he's really learned uh, the system, and, and he continues to learn some technique stuff here and there, but he's playing very well too. And, and then uh, Sean Bonner, will, uh, you know, we'll use him probably more in goal line situations, stuff like that, because of his size plus his blocking ability too. And, and TJ Ivey's a freshman, and he's just he's learning. You know, he has his moments, and so uh, he's going to be fine. Is the quarterback situation coming clear, or is it as clear as mud as it's been for, <laughs> <laughs> for months? Clear as mud. Uh, no, I think that you know, I think we're seeing who they are. And uh, you know we're we're going to talk about that um, today and talk more about it and things like that and just you know it's it's always great to have more than just one set of eyes on it you know I mean Coach Sheridan and Coach Allen myself and then even you know other uh, offensive coaches as well so but uh, yeah we'll talk about that and see where we are. So is it more clear? I think so. I think I mean when I say when we say it's clear, I I think we know what each guy is and that's what's important and so. I feel like we know that now. Mike, what was the takeaway offensively uh, where we are right now after the scrimmage Saturday and, and mentioning the three quarterbacks? They got us in the end zone on those three uh, series from the 10. Right. Um, well, I didn't like how we started. I thought we started slow. We had one three and out right off the start. And whereas the previous scrimmage, we had like a 14 play drive and went down and scored. So I didn't think we started as fast. But then when we got in the red zone, we scored touchdowns. And that's why you're that's why you're there. You know, it's always called a four point play. You know, it's the difference of seven and three, obviously. And we got to we got to score touchdowns down there. And then we went to a, a drill we call second and eight play it. So obviously we only got two yards on the first down, but we're starting at second and eight. And so that that down is very big to get us into a good third down. And that was a great drill for us. So we had really we had some very good moments and we had some other things we got to clean up. When you talk about the quarterbacks, I guess, are you at a point? I think you said this a little bit where whoever it is, you've got a good feel for their strengths. Or I do. Yeah, I feel like I do. I feel like, uh, you know, after uh, watching training camp and, and then seeing Saturday as well. And I feel like I've got a, a good feel on my end. And, um, you know, I'll share that when it's appropriate time. And uh, But, uh, yeah, I do. With offensive line, do you feel like you got 10 guys there that you're comfortable with? Or maybe well, you know, there's there's always a reason that there's a first string and a second string, you know. <laughs> and uh, our first string guys are guys that have played. Uh, they've worked in that weight room extremely hard, they're bigger, they're stronger, they move better. Uh, but then the young, the second group is a lot more younger guys. And uh, you know, they're learning things. And when you go against our defense, you learn something every day. I mean, all the movement and blitzing and things like that. And so that's something that they're getting better at. And, uh, you know, and we'll continue to evaluate that part of it, the second the second group. We, we've seen Nick Linder take some snaps at, at guard as well. Mm -hmm. Is he somebody that could help you at both those spots? Yes, and that's why we were doing it. And, and even uh, we moved some other guys around during that scrimmage a little bit, but uh, Hunter even moved out to guard a little bit. But, yeah, uh, Linder can play both. And so that's a big strength for, you know, helps us and obviously helps him as well. And he, was, okay. he, was, he, was, he was injured, you know, how is he – you know, gotten back into the swing of things. He's fine now. Yeah, he's he's full go and playing playing well. How pleasant of a surprise has Hunter been? That, and I know Nick was injured this spring, but that Hunter's a guy who's performing well enough to, to maybe be mixing it up with a guy's experience. As Nick. Yeah, you know, Hunter. Uh, I think where where Hunter really got better was stronger. You know, he he didn't have as much strength last year, and uh, I think the strength has really helped him play stronger, and uh, so he's playing better that way. Coy Cronk is an upperclassman. How have you seen him really emerge as a leader? Uh, well, he's he's a great leader. I mean, you know, there's I think with leaders, there's no class rank. You know, it's either you lead or you don't, and he leads. And uh, the players have great respect for him because how tough he is, how he plays, and, uh, you know, the kind of guy he is. So he's a great leader for us. 
what, what's it like to have uh, Knight back healthy too? Brandon, you know, missed so much time last year. Yeah, I know. And, yeah. And step back too. I know. Yeah. Those well, two guys. and that, you know, again, that's the, there's a reason those guys are in the first string because of their play and the way they are, and to have them healthy right now is it's big for us. So you know, got to keep them that way. When you have a quarterback a deal like this with three guys, what, what's the, psych, the, the psychology part of it? How much do you talk to them away from practice, or do they just they come out here and practice and that's it? No, uh, Coach Sheridan does a great job, and Coach Sheridan and I and Coach Allen, we all talk all the time about that. We've talked about uh, the evaluation of them all the way through training camp and stuff. And then, you know, Nick's their coach, and uh, he's the guy that, you know, talks to them about things that they need to improve upon, whether it's mental, physical, whatever. And, you know, occasionally I'll walk over and say a few things to him, whatever. But uh, he's their coach, and, and uh, you know, he relays the message more or less, and he does a great job.